Hello, anyone who might be watching, it's Paul again. And since I don't feel like lettering at the moment, I'm going to do another not doodle thingy. And basically, I'm going to take the Triskel or Trefoil or whatever you call that three sided knot, which is. The knot that goes loop here, like that. But one goes over and under. <laughs> but there's a knot like that. That's like the Triskel or something. And then there's the Sierpensky triangle, which is a well known fractal, but you can draw it by hand. Which is first you start with a triangle, and for each iteration you add another triangle. So it's like you got the Triforce here. <laughs> Here's all the fans there. And the next iteration uh, would be to Triforce your Triforce. <laughs> By subdividing with a triangle. Or at least this is one way I do it. And add another iteration and you just keep going and you could go on add infinitum and you know get stupid, but I usually do two or three iterations and make a network drawing out of it. Which is kinda neat. So bring that up light and do just a quick simple one. Nice make it nice and big so guidelines. Usually it works better if you have at least this many iterations. So I'll probably just stick with this, but you can keep going like one or two more times. Or if you got a bigger piece of paper, a lot more, but <laughs> Bigger working here. Or if you wanted to zoom out and start with a big uh, drawing canvas here. So, what you gotta do then is go over and under and over and under. So, we loop. Alright, I'm trying to remember how I did it. <laughs> so, you wanna go. Over and under. And you gotta break the corners so they even really weave, because that's what another trick of it to you. It's not exactly straight up. So I'm gonna go over here. Over here. And then it will also go over here. And over there, like so. So you can see there's the inside part of the three three fold knot. So you can see it is forming like that. But then you bring it through and you bring it over. <laughs> like so. This is the basic one, it's not the fancy one. In this case, normally, like on the corner of the tree, way not, you'd bring it around. But in this case, we're doing a crossover, so it actually comes down like so. Through. And then kind of repeat the pattern. And it's just following a simple rule. So this one here actually goes over. Because remember, this one went over here, so it has to go under here. This is really rough and crude. It can dry a lot in here. In this. But I just wanted to show it real quick. <laughs> and it is kind of neat. And in the case of this one, this corner here, we can just bring it around. So you can see that there is that loopy pattern there. Or you can make it pointed, but it doesn't matter to me. Loop it around. This one goes up, and we have another crossover here. <laughs> this is so rough and green. Yeah, you know we can do it like ten times in the year, but you're getting the idea at least. 
Oh, well. Alright. And it goes over there, like so. I guess what is this, like, two iterations or something? Well, single iteration would be one of those nuts. So, yeah, at least two if you're going to do the Sierpensky thing. That Polish mathematician guy from, I guess, the 1800s? Maybe the early 1900s. <laughs> you figured out this fractal form. It's technically a fractal, but you can draw it by hand. And over. That one's over. <laughs> this one goes under. But it connects to here. And then you get a hundred. And what's neat is when you smooth the curves between the three triangles, you're not getting like through this regular shape, you're getting like this bigger oxbow kind of loopy shape. Which is kind of neat to you. Like, oh, Alright. But you could just repeat it and break it down like if you had more iterations, you could actually get triangles in here and stuff in the corner. I just think it looks cool though, but it's a uh, not based on the Sierpensky triangle. That's pretty much how it works. I delete the guidelines and get this really fancy knot. And then another thing you can do is break this up. And then you could like make stars with your triangles. So you, it's not like you even have to keep it as a triangle. You can interleave the triangles in any way you think you can tile them. So it leaves a lot of opportunities for some really cool design patterns. And it's just something to do all around with when you're bored. So figure I'd pass it on. <laughs> it's neat. But yeah, I did it really rough and crude here, but you get the idea. So. There you go. But, uh, normally when I do this, I do it on paper. And it's, for me, tablets are more like painting, so when you're trying to do neat lines, it's just easier to do it on paper. And then scan, and then bring it in this where tablets, you're kind of... To me, it's more free for them where you mix the colors and dabble and do these things and detail it. <laughs> okay. Oh, there you go. Later. Now it's there. Alright, bye.